and the Valley's congressional leaders in Washington for the inauguration. And they tell Channel 5's Christian Von Pricing how today was different from previous inaugurations. This time around, Washington, D.C. was staged with the added security of 25,000 National Guard members following the January 6th attack on the Capitol. New COVID rules also affecting who could be there, how many, and how close they could get. Congressman Henry Cuellar, who did attend, says it was unlike inaugurations he'd gone to before. To say this was different because never did I go to one under the midst of a pandemic or midst of a security attack that we had just recently. So very, very different. The message from Joe Biden after taking the oath, hardly attacking the other side. His speech stressing the need for unity, focusing on finding common ground between two parties. He also extends extended an olive branch today and um, has said, I want to work with the other side. We know the country is divided. A stark difference to Donald Trump's inauguration speech in 2017, dubbed the American carnage speech that both congressmen remember very well. You know, a very dark type of message, the carnage on the streets and all that, to now to one about bringing people together. And if you have seen past inaugurations, the president would say, I'm going to do point number one, point number two. Point number three, they give very po different policies. This time, he didn't talk about policies. He didn't talk about politics. All he did was say, how do we unite the country? Today, under a very different set of circumstances, the National Guard increased security and social distancing. The transition went forward. Today, um, uh, democracy won in America, and we all witnessed it with a lot of pride. President Joe Biden's first day in office. Christian Von Pricing, Channel 5 News.